The Fakumono Complex 2 Primary has converted its library and computer into classrooms for KG1 and 2 pupils. The school lost its KG department to fire during the COVID-19 lockdown period. The new space is very congested as a result of the swelling numbers brought on by new enrollment as school reopens. Joy News' is Mousy Numo visited the school and has come through with this report. There are about 60 people in the newly converted classroom for KG peoples. Both library and computer lab space put together should originally accommodate just one class. That is currently not so because of the fire incident. The bent classroom is yet to be rehabilitated. Headmistress of the school and the Rita Newton gave details account of the incident to join news. It's supposed to be our KG, our KG1 and KG2 building. During the lockdown, we the place got bent yeah we had electrical issue and then during the lockdown it got bent we are managing with our library for the time being yeah that is where we are hosting the kg2 and then our ict labs we are using it for the kg1 so that is where we are only that the place is congested she's therefore appealing to government and corporate organizations to come to their aid Though the municipal, they promise that as soon as possible, they will come and then renovate the whole place for us. We are just hoping anybody out there that can also come to our aid will be happy. As the new academic year begins, experience are anxious of securing admission for their children. But that is not certain yet, particularly for these enrolling in schools for the first time. School authority, however, say they are expecting more approaches for possible enrollment. Meanwhile, Deputy Education Minister John Intim for job, who was at the school to welcome the newly enrolled pupils, urged parents to take advantage of the right of enrollment and free education to put their children in school. We are encouraging all stakeholders, particularly parents, to encourage their children. No child must be left behind. We want to ensure that in, as part of efforts to attain the tenet of Sustainable Development Goal 4, we have, we have quality and equitable access to quality education for all. And every child, regardless of their disability, regardless of their socioeconomic background, must all have access to quality education. So today we welcome here at Sakumano Complex 1 and 2 and to all the kids that are reporting to school in all the system regions of this country, we welcome you and we assure you that a bright and solid education system awaits you and that as you progress through, you'll be the future leaders, you'll be the future teachers, future lawyers, the future men and women who are going to contribute strongly and significantly to nation building. The future of this country lies in the hands of the ones that we are welcoming to school today. We on our part as government, as Ministry of Education, will do all that we can to ensure that we attain some of the highest standards the world has seen in education. We ensure that we resort to education as a, a credible strategy for rapid social economic transformation. Greater Accra Regional Director of Education, Monica Ankra, also encouraged teachers to discharge their duties in spite of challenges saddling their Air Force. To give up their best. In fact, they have to give back to society what society has done for them to nurture, help and assist and appreciate whatever government is doing. Their children are our own. They also have their children in school. So they have to work hard to make sure that they give them the best education that they could so that they become responsible citizens in the near future. Yeah, Rome was not built in one day. So definitely there will be challenges. But despite the numerous challenges, they should give up and then continue to nurture those young ones so that the good Lord will bless them all. Maosi Numos report for Joy News.